Jesus Christ. Pray forever. Jesus Christ. Slava Jesus Christ. Slava Today we celebrate All Saints Sunday. And this feast honors all of the saints who reject, who rejoice in God from all parts, parts of the world and in every generation. Many of them we know by name. And we honor them throughout the year. However, there are many more that we unknown. And that's why, that is why the Church has set aside the Sunday, one Sunday after Pentecost, to honor all saints. So that they may also be venerated by all. And the choice of this particular day is also significant. Because it is with the grace of the Holy Spirit that the saints were sanctified. This day is also established to encourage us to follow the path of the saints as much as we are able to struggle with zeal, zeal towards holiness. What is important to remember is that we are not called, called to be miracle workers. Sanctity is the turning away from Satan and his work. The honor these great saints receive from God, including the gift of miracle working is the fruit of their spiritual labor. And in this way, they are able to help us. We have to, uh, to be clear on what God is telling us when he says, you shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. He is calling us to turn away from devil and sin and to live according to the will of God with faith, love, and devotion. It is not for us to say that we will become saints by our own power. Only God is holy. And whoever is in communion with God and is united with Him will share in this holiness. I am the Lord who sanctifies you. Somebody can speak about Christ, give alms, donate generosity to the church, attend every divine liturgy, receive Holy Communion. But if a person does this for their own glory and declares themselves a saint, then to God they are nothing. They are no better than the Pharisees if they take credit and do not glorify God. The Lord said, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy, prophesy in your name? Did we not dry out demons in your name? Did we not do mighty deeds in your name? Then I will declare, declare to them solemnly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evil jurors. The truly sanctified person believe that they are just lowly 
sinners. Let us remember the great apostle of the Gentile Paul, who in, who in the last days of his life wrote, Jesus Christ came into this world to save the sinners of whom I am chief. This is exactly what we need, the realization that we are sinners. This is our reality because no one in this world is without sin. This is also true of the saints we remember today. Some of them had a very sinful life and were known for their corruption. The difference here is that they were cleansed by repentance. They turned against their passions and were healed by the sacred mysteries of the church. Enlightened by the Holy Spirit, they struggle and reach deification, resulting in their glorification as from or what situation we find ourselves as the saints. Excuse me. Understanding this, we can see that all of us can reach for holiness, no matter where we come from or what situation we find ourselves in. The grace of God is a gift. And it is in this gift we can experience sanctification. God's word assures us for this is the will of God, your sanctification. This is why Jesus Christ exists. So that with the sacred mysteries, teaching, God gives us the means to become sane. This is his will. And we also need to want this great gift. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, may we be inspired by the saints we celebrate today and with their intercession follow in their footsteps. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ.